Hello, and everyone. Welcome to another episode of your favorite news show, STL Tech Talk Podcast, baby. 2013 holiday shopping season special. Uh, we have uh, two special guests on tonight, uh, and one that's going to be a frequent special guest. That's going to be Vince here, but I'll get into that in just a moment. I am JJ Hammond, and uh, down there at the bottom of the screen, you also see Kevin Harbell. Say hello, Kevin. Hey, everybody. How are you all doing? Good. Okay, um, then we have uh, our new fighter in the left uh, side of the ring, if you will, Vince uh, Matani. Uh, go ahead yeah. and say hey, Vince. Hey, what's up, guys? And then our uh, our special guest, um, uh, Tech Guy Smart Buy. You know, uh, I've been following you hardcore on Twitter. Really enjoy all your stuff. Say hello. Hey, everybody. Thanks for everything. Awesome, awesome. Well, as we do at the beginning of the show, uh, we do our news rundown, but before we do that, uh, again, you can follow us on Twitter at, at STL Tech Talk. Um, you can also find us on Facebook. You can also just Google us and you'll find us everywhere. You can sh submit um, questions to us while we're live here at podcast at stltechtalk.com. Uh, you can also email the show at stltechtalk at stltechtalk.com. Um, and you can also uh, shoot us a Q&A in our chat as well on our Google Plus page. Uh, am I, if I'm forgetting anything, Kevin will stop me. But no, as, we, good, as I have not, we're going to go into the uh, news rundown. Kevin, go ahead and start us off. All right. The first thing I would like to announce is that we have finally released our official mobile app. And this mobile app has been designed thanks to Andy Long, who was on an episode a few weeks back. He uh, is a Windows Phone developer, so we have launched our first official app for the website on Windows Phone. So, and what for Windows cool. Phone fans, the 3.9% of us. Uh, right. <laughs> but, uh, we are working on it for Google, and uh, we are going to be working on it for, uh, for <laughs> Apple iOS as well. So uh, we'll be looking at that in the uh, next coming months. Um, the next thing on the list of things, if you will, is let's just talk about it. It's big this holiday season. It's the Xbox One versus the PS4. When it comes down to a basic specs, things that are going on, um, the majority of, of people um, that have reviewed these two devices have found that uh, both the PS4's um, launch you know, had some issues getting off the ground as far as uh, being able to connect to its servers. People in the tech community are expecting that from the Xbox One as well. So, um, you know, also mm -hmm. Microsoft pulled the ability to download the offline update um, just, I want to say, a couple hours ago, which is kind of interesting because um, I actually I have no idea why it is, but they pulled it. Um, so before you were able to go ahead and go on before the Xbox One came out to get the download, uh, but you can't do that anymore. Now you have to uh, wait for the servers to be up and all that jazz. So uh, next up. Yeah, they've been having some Microsoft website issues today across a lot of their different sites. They've been having a Microsoft problem. Yeah, it happens. It's a big day for Microsoft. So, yep. All right, the next thing that I wanted to touch on is Android 4.4 KitKat has finally released. I know it's been two, almost, yeah, it's been two weeks since we've had an official uh, episode here other than our... St. Louis Days of .NET conference coverage from last weekend. And uh, since then, the Nexus 5 has launched with the first device being running Android 4.4 KitKat. Since then, it has started to roll out on the you know, Nexus 4 devices, Nexus 7 tablets, other tablets, and the Moto X. It just dropped on the Moto X today for certain different carriers. So uh, it's been working pretty good so far from what I can tell. Uh, just a few changes that runs pretty smooth. Hangouts is integrated to handle your uh, text messaging, so it can become your default messaging app if that's what you so choose, choose it to be. And I've been enjoying that quite a bit, just having everything in one one sim single app. Okay, yeah. And uh, moving on to the Lumia 1520 reviews and first impressions. Everybody seems to like this phone, which I'm actually surprised because the majority of of uh, people in the tech world have not enjoyed um, previous Windows Phone devices, but this has been surprisingly, um, you know, gotten good reviews. Um, having said that, its size is going to be its ultimate uh, downfall or upside, depending on who you are. Uh, but the reviews and first impressions are pretty good. Yeah. It's definitely, uh, we're looking forward to getting our review unit. It might be uh, just a short period of time. Uh, 
but we or will be I getting just it. Might and go we out and buy one. one. I don't know. Ooh, that would be nice. There you go. That would be nice. All right, the next news item that I want to touch on is the jury has come back today. This is trial round two, you would say, in the long-running battle between Apple and Samsung over these software patents, the violations that Apple feels Samsung has violated. And the jury says Samsung owes Apple $290 million at the end of the second trial, and it looks like there's going to be a third trial. This is going to be beginning next year, pretty much. It's just like this is stuck on repeat. It's just repeating the CD records, just skipping. So it's over and over. And also Apple wants to, again, uh, get all Samsung devices banned from being sold in the United States. I don't know what's going to happen. It's <laughs> How dare you try to <laughs> copyright a rectangle right. that's blackish. Yeah, there's... <laughs> There's just so much, so much with all that, and you know we don't want everybody stealing everybody else's technology. So if Samsung legitimately did that, you know that's not cool. But we, as consumers, we benefit kind of in the end because it just each company kind of pushes to make things right. better. You know, so I guess just keep fighting it out, guys. <laughs> Okay, moving on. So Bitcoin, Bitcoin mania. Um, there's the, been uh, a lot of Bitcoin stories in the news uh, lately. I don't know how you guys feel about Bitcoin. I, um, being from the financial side of things, um, I don't know if I care too much for the uh, just a code and accepting that. I have a hard enough time dealing with something that just says this is debt on the paper. Um, but um, you know, with it being a, a virtual. Um, you know, coin, if you will, uh, with all the different issues that have been going on with it, with um, the stock price uh, or the uh, it's worth rather not stock price. I totally said that wrong, but it's worth going up about 27 percent. It looks like a classic bubble scenario um, in the financial world. So uh, we'll we'll talk about that one a little bit later if you guys want to kind of unpack that a little bit. But uh, yeah, so the mania has been. Uh, people b trying to buy into Bitcoin, and also the fact that there's been a lot of hacks on Bitcoin and people trying to steal it. Now, there is a cap. You can only steal or collect about 21 million um, uh, U.S. dollars worth of Bitcoin, but uh, that's some more information there. It's something for everybody to keep their eye on uh, because it's real interesting making payments with a, uh, a virtual payment method, if you will, that's kind of a universal system. All right. Um Another Windows Phone app has uh, dropped recently, and you could say it's another big one. It's one that a lot of people have been clamoring for, even though there's been some pretty solid uh, apps for this particular platform. That platform is Instagram. There's been a lot of people that's been waiting for this. They want to be able to take pictures with their, you know, with their Lumias, which have, you know, we all know they have great cameras. There's always the 1020 that takes outstanding pictures. I mean, I guess a lot of people just want to have the official app, even though it's currently it's technically still a beta because there's still no video recording capabilities unless that updated today, and I it just slipped to me. Uh, right now, it's just a photo sharing app. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, our uh, our thoughts go out to Daniel Gary, the producer of Instance, uh, did a great job when he uh, when he came out with that friend of the show. Um, if you guys want a second alternative to the official Instagram app, that would be the best one to go with. Um, Universal Game Controller for the iPhone iPod. Um, this was pretty cool. You know, I saw this, and if, you know, when you think about the you know controllers on a cell phone, you're like, oh, I don't know. But gamers are gamers, man, and they love being able to game wherever they are. Um, this thing is pretty cool. It comes with a, a separate battery pack for itself. Um, it's uh, it, it reminds me a lot of the um, it's Logitech, but it reminds me a lot of just kind of the way that the, the PS4, uh, excuse me, the uh, PS3 controllers and your your Xbox controllers look. Um, let's see, I'm not sure if we have a price on this yet, unless one of you guys can tell me. But um, yeah, it's uh, 99.99. 99.99. Okay, so um, not bad. Yeah, so that deep, sexy voice is Tech Guy Smart Buy. Um, that's <laughs> 99.99 right there. Uh, really interesting. I, I really like this this thought of being able to uh, power the device as while you're playing it. Um, I know kids and stuff in the holiday season. Logitech, I think, did a really good job with this. Um, I'd like to get my hands on it, but at first glance, it looks pretty nice. Mm -hmm. 
It does. It kind of looks like uh, the old uh, uh, PSP from Sony. Yeah. It was a pretty slick looking little device there. All right. And the last thing that I wanted to touch on is uh, Microsoft and Google are kind of having a little, you know, disagreement, you could say. Uh, Microsoft yesterday came out and they're selling these mugs and shirts and all kinds of merchandise talking about, you know, keep calm and while we steal your data, you know, kind of making fun of Google with Microsoft and their whole what they call scroogled, you know, don't get scroogled by, you know, Google. So I I don't know. I just don't <laughs> that's just not that's just not PR that Microsoft needs right now to where they're trying to really start bad mouthing people. Uh, so I just really think guys we need to just get over it. Keep keep it clean and uh, let the consumers choose for themselves. Come on. Why do you think Jerry Springer, <laughs> Murray, <laughs> Geraldo, Geraldo, we don't Montel like it clean, sir. The... We like it dirty. We like right. it messy. Right. Yeah, yeah, so think... Keep calm while we steal your data. Yeah, yeah. So so we like it dirty with jello and maybe even some mud thrown in there. And right. then, so, if you're, so if you're anti-Google, there's some good stocking stuffers right there. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, please, Google, don't crash this hangout while we're talking. Okay. Exactly. Uh, more, Motorola G, bah. Okay, so the Motorola G, when we're talking about the Motorola X, uh, one of our uh, listeners wanted to talk a little bit about this. Um, you know, looking at the design overall, it's it's almost basically the same. I mean, you got your 4.5 inch screen, um, but here's where you start getting into your difference is where you start looking at your specs. You got a 720p, um, or excuse me, you don't have a 720p. Uh, you have barely a 720p. Um, there's no 1.3 megapixel module on the front for video calls. Um, also, it only comes in 8 gigabyte and 16 gigabytes worth of storage. The reason why I bring this up is. Um, for the longest time, I've always believed that, not for the longest time, at least for the last couple of months, I've always believed that technology is going to be moving away from more of your designer on the outside. I mean, sure, the, the actual hardware is going to matter, don't get me wrong, but it's all going to be about software and experience. And with Google pushing this new um, capabilities with 4.4 KitKat, being able to function on lower uh, devices, lower RAM devices, if you will, uh, we're going to see this, this change a little bit on... Um, the next billion um, smartphone users and different stuff like that. So here's uh, Motorola's uh, treading into those kind of waters with the Moto G. Um, I'm not impressed. I don't like it, but I do like the fact that it's only, I believe, $150 uh, right out of the gate, uh, which is kind of a, an interesting shot. And it does, you know, I think it's a, it, you know, it's a way to kind of fight off Microsoft on the low end with the Lumia 520. Exactly. Um, and exactly. things like that. So we're going to be really watching that. And then I'm just going to kind of throw this all out there. Um, we did a Samsung Galaxy Mega review, um, but uh, it's going to be coming out for $399 straight up on Metro PCS. So that's something to look forward to. Uh, we also have some HTC One M8 rumors. Um, you know, the rumors there is it's going to have the next gen of your Snapdragon processors, things of that nature. Um, also, SkyDrive gets backup with uh, iOS support. Uh, so if you're on uh, iOS, um, I don't know, Vince, if you use any uh, SkyDrive stuff. But, um, oh, but sorry. yeah, some people do, and those people who do are going to get the functionality of their pictures being able to be uh, backed up and uh, just different, different uh, things like that being backed up to SkyDrive. Um, international restrictions on lab mice affect cancer research. That's never good. Uh, Vancouver banned doorknobs. I don't even know what to say about that. Um, there is literally a Captain Kirk. Although he doesn't command the Enterprise, he does run the U.S.'s latest battleship, which is really cool. I suggest you guys pop on over to uh, Popular Science for a really nice detailed article um, on that. And that is our rundown tech news from the last show. Um, so having said that, we have two special guests on tonight. Uh, Vince, we're going to go ahead and start with you because um, we have plenty to talk with with the uh, tech guy, smart, by, uh, smart guy, by, by blah, 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 Roderick, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> um, Vince, why don't you go ahead and tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Where do you come from? What got you into tech? Uh, born and raised in St. Louis, and I just always loved technology and grew up an Apple guy. Had it in elementary school, middle school, uh, and then high school. So natural progression into college was, uh, I'm going to have a Mac. And 
just kind of, I was the first one in my dorm, I remember at college, who had a Mac because they were still weren't popular. So I kind of became everybody's IT guy right then and there. And that eventually just fast forward uh, like a couple years, and that's how I got in the industry. Just I love it. I kind of breathe it just like all of us, and fascinated by it. It's always changing, not, you know, it's never the same. Tomorrow's not going to be the same technology-wise. Definitely. And, um it ensures us having a job for a little while. It does, yeah. And, <laughs> exactly. you know, I, I've i seen how, for instance, the iPad, like I've seen how that has actually changed people's lives with some of the things you can do, and that inspires me to try to change the world or change people's lives with technology. I love so, it. So we can go into thousands of stories of what I've seen the iPad can do for people with <laughs> Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, and it's pretty awesome. And Right, so, autism. Autism, yeah, it's great. It's huge. Yeah, it really has become, you know, there's there's something beautiful about technology, and, and someone was complaining about it the other day, and I'm like, mm, you need to slow your roll a little bit. <laughs> Basically, the uh, the where I was getting to in the conversation was, this is a way for some people who can't communicate normally to communicate right. with the rest of the world and show right. how pretty their thoughts can be, or right. negative, depending on it. But... For the most part, what, what kind of person they, they can be, where in the past they didn't have this outlet. And technology has really allowed for a lot of people to be able to express themselves um, who can't in a normal given situation like what we're doing right now. That's, you know, those cognitive functions come easy to us. It, it's hard for some other people. So, um, you know, especially these products having that availability to bring that connection um, in a different way, but still a way to do that is is phenomenal. It's fantastic. Yeah, I agree. And uh, tell us a little bit. Uh, well, we we lost Roderick. We're gonna have to get him back. So tell us a little bit about um, about you know where you come from and and, and that like uh, a little bit about um, what uh, you know what what business you had started and, and all that stuff. Yeah. So we uh, I got a business and we and we do Apple consulting. Uh, a lot of it's uh, high-end residential or uh, s small to medium businesses who use, whether it's iPads or, or Macs, they have enough where they need help, but not enough to, f like, hire a full-time IT guy. Right. And uh, so we're the perfect solution for that. We also do a lot, a, a lot of home automation, so controlling your lights, security cameras, garage doors, heating and air, all from an iPhone or an iPad. And... Uh, so that's been really fun and pretty awesome what, what you can do um, just with an iPhone. So we do that, and then um, we're starting a new business now, hopefully launching January 1st. And uh, not really tech-related at all, actually. So, But that's what we're up to right now. Good, good. Awesome. So, um, so you are going to be a future contributor to the site, uh, stltechtalk.com. Yes. yes. And you're also uh, going to be popping in and out of our show. So everybody get used to this wonderful face. You're going to love it. It's going <laughs> to be there and his, uh, and his thoughts and, and different stuff like that. Really excited to have you on board. Really Thanks. excited to have you I'm, on board. I'm pumped. Definitely. This will be good. This'll yeah, be it's going to be fantastic. Be who, We're gonna... who knew that, like, Windows people and Mac people could join forces for the greater good? <laughs> right. right? Yeah. Not hate each other. So this will yeah, be good. Yeah, it is. That's Android good. and everybody. Yeah. Everybody oh, Google. It's, it's yeah. possible. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that that you know those coexist bumper stickers that you always see. Yeah, we need to make oh, yeah, one. Yeah, like that. yeah, we should totally make one with the, you know, like um, I I thought about doing two kinds. The first one that I thought about doing was each symbol with a gun pointed at the other one's head, right? And then another <laughs> one where they're all like holding hands like around the world, just a bunch right. of like around the world go. hands. Nobody yeah. steal that. You hear me? No. <laughs> it's ours. <laughs> trademarked. It's already trademarked. Yep. Got a patent. Yep. Patent pending. But uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, we're gonna we're gonna join forces and with our powers combined make Captain um, Tech Talk. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> having that, um, you know, so so where do you see where where do you see the the future of um, you know what what do you see the future for Apple being and 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 kind of the the business model that you guys have? Well, uh, the future of Apple. That's I hate to be, the, but you know. Be that guy. Be that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I've because I've been with it. You know, the computers are getting better. They have new MacBook Pros with Retina displays. Uh, that is awesome. 
However, this is gorgeous. <laughs> they are gorgeous. I mean, you can't get any better than that. However, um, there are some things that like photo stream needs improvements on, iCloud needs improvements on, and there are a lot of things though that I think that they can improve on. One of them being their stores. Um, it's a miserable experience going to an Apple store anymore. Um, and and I don't know I don't know why, but hopefully they can improve on that. But I think they have good leadership. Everybody was afraid when Steve Jobs passed away that Apple would go down the, the toilet and you know, even though their stock prices kind of have, uh, they're still, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they're, significantly they're uh, the last still in the fight, months. yeah. Yeah, but, you know, they're still doing, they're going to be fine, I, I would yeah. think. They're getting more and more into business, which was always the problem. Right. And I think because of that, I think that's going to be good for them, which will just keep me in business. So that's uh, exactly. what I'm hoping for. So where do you see, um, you know, where do you see Apple's play in this wearable stuff going forward? I don't know. Man, that's a great question. Um, I, I I don't know, JJ. That's a, <laughs> you stumped me there. I don't, I don't know. It's a okay. really good question. I yeah. don't know. Well, you know, here's some of my thoughts, and and maybe this can kind of get you know, uh, uh, kind of get from the panel, if you will, your guys' thoughts. But it just seems to me that Apple has. They, they 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 came out and they're doing you know you can tell it's a very Tim Cook type of style which is very reserved. Let's go ahead and build. You know, let's go ahead and take these increments, right? Let's right. let's go ahead and let's just take it easy and slow and slowly innovate, slowly push out products. Um, you know, I think we saw a little bit of why you you can't be too business and consumer and like care consciously about what the market does or doesn't think with the iPhone five. C. And the reason why I say that is because nobody wants a croc phone, right? Like the croc shoe phone. Like that's uh -huh. the first thing I thought when I thought saw those bumper cases. I'm like, no, <laughs> God, you're kidding me. I was like, oh no. So having said that, I'm concerned because we hear about all the different ways, you know, because Apple, I mean, we think about them and they make beautiful products. I mean, just absolutely wonderful products. Their mm -hmm. screens are fantastic. You know, the way that they've been able to implement uh, in the developer community, you know, getting out some serious, fantastic apps, you know. And um, with all that stuff, my concern is that they're not going to have the out, that not going to have the the wherewithal to throw it out there and say, we're going to go ahead and do the first hardcore wearable technology, like, you know, the, the bendable wrist watch or, you know, a, a some not a watch necessarily because it doesn't have to be a watch, but it can be something like a band that's on your wrist that does all sorts of things. And there's no reason why they can't go after that goal because I think that's very attractive. Um and I think that, that if they continue on this path of just kind of slowly incremental, I think that Google or Microsoft or whatever the case, but that one of the other players are going to, especially Samsung, is going to just continue to just start throwing that stuff at the wall, and eventually it's going to stick. Right. Something's right. Something's yeah. gonna stick. Yeah. And, and I think that uh, you know their play needs to continue to be a couple of different ways in the consumer side, and they need to be hitting the business side, but they still need to keep that innovative edge. So I'm really looking forward to this 2014 year because I think this will be the year that tells me how what their next what their next four years is going to look like. To be quite yeah. honest, what, what do you what do you have what do you think about that? No, I agree. I, I don't know how you know as a personally, I don't know how much I would want let's say a watch that constantly buzzes, beeps, uh, vibrates. <laughs> telling me notifications. In right. fact, on my phone, I've literally turned off almost every notification except ringing for a phone call and a text message. Um, I just, I, I don't like the beeps, the buzzes, and all that. However, there is a market for it as the right. world we live in. We want to know everything yesterday. Instantly. Yeah, right. and yep. um, it would be... You know, I have one of those uh, up bands. I don't know if it's my Jawbone. Yeah, yeah. And jawbone. it would be really cool if they could sit a watch with a Jawbone type technology. So it's more than just a notification device and a right. watch, but if it's a uh, you know pedometer and if it's everything, every, you know, it could tell your sleep patterns or your steps and calories and burning. I think that would be really attractive to a whole nother market. Um, so, at least for me, I don't know. No, no, no. Cool. That, that's the that's the and when they came out with that little M7 part of their mm -hmm. um of, of their overall X uh, 64 or whatever, 
that to me showed it's like, hey, you know, we're we're you know putting this little extra module inside of our bigger chips. So there's a possibility this thing is going to be you know implemented somewhere. But here's the reason why I say something like a watch, right? Is something like a watch, but that the the, the curved display allows for the the colors that Apple can do and the design that they can do to be able to light up a different color or yeah. like change colors or different things like that and curve around the screen. There's a lot of different concepts that are just a phenomenal ideas that Apple could totally do, that I could totally right. see them doing. Right. Um, but like I said, I, I really think it's going to be telling this next fiscal year how, what, how their approach to this stuff is going to be. Um, but um, but if, if people want to find out uh, more about what you do, they can always contact you and find yep. you and, and all that stuff. And, I'm all and, over. Yeah, and, uh, and things like that. Um, so um, having said that, would love having you on board. We look very much forward to having you going forward. Having said all that, tech guy smart bye. How's hey, it going over there? Roderick. It's pretty noisy Roderick. over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you're in a gym. Are you at the Y? I'm actually at a conf, uh, like a little uh, gathering of uh, different vendors, which I completely okay. forgot. I saw the whole crap, but I, was like, <laughs> I can do it mobile, and I still be okay. But yeah, next time, I will cool definitely things. be home. In front of my iMac or Chromebook to do it properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. sure. We'll have you back on, but we're glad to have you on because um, you know uh, you're. I really like your uh, approach. Um, you know, I, I like. Uh, I've been enjoying some of your your tweets and things of that nature. But uh, before we get into a little bit about what you do right now, uh, let's talk about a little bit about you. What got you into technology? I've always been a big fan of it. You know, whether just you know, little things of setting the VCR for my parents or you know, changing the clock from the microwave every time there's a blackout or something. And then, um, you know, as you got older and deal with Max with the floppy, floppy disks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. gosh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then, you know, and then just, just really came immersed with, it, immersed with it when I got older. And then, like, probably in my late 20s, it's like, okay, technology is doing a lot of different things, but then... I would go to some of these stores, whether it be you know a, a carrier store or a retailer, and I'd see a lot of uh, employees trying to you know make a sale, but not really giving the right information. <laughs> it's like right. It's like I can sell. Like I know more. How do I know more than you? Like we're supposed to know. I know it's just a job, but you know you got to give the customer what they want, rather be you know proper information rather than just going for the sale. And that's when me and my partner is like, hey, we should do something. And you know, 2008. August 2008, we came up with the, with the name and we did a blog and, you know, as a as a hobby and we've been doing it ever since. Nice. So I know you guys have uh, regular day jobs and stuff. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, I I have a very understanding wife. That's that, yeah. That's, 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 that's the key to my success. I have a very understanding <laughs> wife mm -hmm. who, uh, who pushes me and it's like, oh well, get it done and you know sometimes. You know, that's all I do. I'll get up and, you know, research, write some stuff, go to work, go to at work, write some stuff, go home, and, you know, write so some more you, stuff. So, so what's your what's your um, your full-time, I don't want to be doing that, rather would be <laughs> something else job? You called it. Uh, I actually work at ADP, uh, the check, ca uh, check cashing, I'm sorry, the check, pro check processing area okay. of ADP. Okay. Um, so it's like a second shift, so it's like a second shift job, so that kind of helps me stay on top of things. Yeah, yeah, most yeah, definitely. That's good. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Um, what, uh, what, how, how long have you been around as Tech Guy Smart Buy? Um, I think that's so. since like late uh, August of 2008 as a hobby, and then maybe like 2010, 2011, like taking it a lot more seriously. Mm. So. so, what was it that, uh, go, uh, go ahead. I, we would say we've been around for a little bit, but yeah, go nice. ahead. So what was it uh, that got you guys to come up with that name? I mean, what were some of the other things uh, you guys tossed around that you know you ended up settling with Tech Guy Smart Buy? You'd be surprised that we didn't really come up with a lot of names. <laughs> we came up with like that was like the second one. It worked, and we just ran with it. I don't nice. even remember what the first one was. <laughs> and I th and I think it works out really good because you know JJ and I both follow you on Twitter and stuff and. And I know you've helped me out. Just you know, just one day, you know, you posted something about an Xbox Live card was available for forty dollars uh, yeah. per year. 
And, and I'm mad they do that at Lofton. Yeah, I need Right. Those. And when I'm at work, you know, eBay is blocked for me, so it's a matter of if I don't see it, like, right away, I, I, I miss it by the time that I see it. The deal from you buy.com, whatever they're called now, is is over. So I missed that. So I was able to get in on that deal. And, you know, definitely <laughs> thank you for posting that. Glad to help. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Um, so what is it that you do exactly with your Tech Guy Smart Buy? So what's your guys' approach? Um, at the current time, it's just um, helping people through information, whether it be finding the latest deal or um, keeping them aware of what phones may be on the horizon in case their contract is up and they're thinking of going one way and, you know, let them know why. Basically, just our overall goal is to present people with all the options that are out there, whether it be through mobile or you know, audio, home audio and different stuff. So let them know, you know, just because your best friend is talking about a particular device, you know, be mindful of the other great devices out in the market. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, um, how do you guys how do you guys approach that? So, say, uh, you know, anecdotally, so say if I come to you and I say, um, you know, man, uh, you know, what do I do? Where do I go? I'm, you know, I'm I'm trying to decide which option is best for me. How do you approach that from a, a, a cellular phone type situation? Uh, from the cellular phone, I think it's 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 uh it's like everything else is catered towards the person. So it depends on you know I can't say you know to say oh it's simple go oh, team iPhone you know team Android that that's a cop out. Um, right. It depends on you know type of services they use on a daily basis. It depends on what they need on a daily basis, and I try to match them with which phone off you know which group of phones offer that within their price range. So you're always watching. So you're all. You must be always trying to keep on top of, you know, where the discounts are. Um, you know how much things are going for. Yeah, yeah. That's that's got to be difficult. Um, it is. Uh, <laughs> I, it, it definitely is. I, I, it's. Um, I guess I guess the easy way to say it is that I'm motivated to help people, and since I can't help, you know, not say I can't, but. You know, try to help people through information. So, I love that. I love that. You don't. Yeah. You don't strike me, as, and you haven't struck me as a very like completely biased person, which is one of the wow. best. Um, which is one of the best people to get advice from, right? Exactly. Because yeah. the last thing you want is someone that's po You know, that's 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 um gonna be like, oh well, you know, blah blah blah. I mean, in our hearts, sure that there's a there's a special place for some type of technology or whatever. But if you're honest and you're open about that information, uh, when somebody's trying to ask you for help, I mean that goes a tremendously you know long way in, in in what you do. So that that's awesome that you actually you know that you have that approach to it. So that's really that's really great. Um, so we have we have you on. I think at the the best time. And the reason why I say that is because <laughs> it's the holiday season, baby. Yep. The holiday oh season. It's about um, showtime. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's game time. What? And so what would you suggest? What's the hottest tech gadgets, if you will, for this holiday season? Ooh, that's that's tough. It's tough. I don't even know if I can just Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. That down you know you can. You had your nose um, on the ground. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess I'll start off with the, the what's hot right now, the next gen. Um I can't say to get them. I can't say not to get them just yet. So, okay. If you're torn, or you're not going to get that for your kid or whatever, you know, you know, 360 and the PS3 aren't going anywhere, and they're no. great prices. That's. I guess I'll start off with that. Okay. Um, smartphones, boy. <laughs> you know, you got 5s to G2 to to even the Moto X. The Moto X. Crazy deals on the Moto X. You, cost, you know, Moto Makers is, is open, for, open for all carriers now. So put it together. And I think I think it was on Amazon the other day for like a penny, or earlier today for like a penny on new contracts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's yeah, that's, that's definitely uh, and it's already getting Kit Kat. Like two to, two out two out of two out of two out of four carriers already have it, so rolling yeah. out. So you got that. You got the infamous iPhone 5S. Can't go wrong with that. You know, the kind of covers forzers. Um, Windows Phone. You know, 10, 20, 15, 20, take your pick. <laughs> yeah. um, there's even um, a company called Seiki. 
that um, a lot of people have probably never heard of, but they're on a lot of these, uh, a lot of the Black Friday uh, listings because okay. they pretty much have. They're probably the only company that has the most affordable 4K display. Really? HD TV? Yes. Uh, I think. I think if you check, I, I'm a little rusty because I, I've been tremendously busy. I haven't even gotten into the Black Friday deals like I wanted to. But I think there's like a 4K display. I think maybe 39, a 39 4K, 4K display for under thousand dollars. Wow! And, Whoa. The, and the quality is pretty good. Like I've, I've seen, I've seen them at one of the events. So the quality is pretty good. So what did you say the name of that company was again? Uh, Seiki is S E I K I, if I'm correct. Okay. So I mean, okay. I think, yeah, I think if you Google it, you'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, so they had, even if not, they have regular TV that are that are just as so. Cool. What, what are you What are you getting for yourself this holiday season? Oh, I'm not getting anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting anything. Getting, uh, what no. are you What are you getting the family? What What are you What are you getting if not for yourself, then for other people? Um, I know my wife's not watching, nor nor neither friends. So I can just blurt it out. Um, I'll probably <laughs> try to get her a fuel band, probably the SE. I'm not sure if I'll. Uh, I know she wanted it at one point. I'm not sure, but uh, that's probably what I'm looking at. Or, or Fitbit Force. So you'll uh, go fuel band over like the Jawbone band. Um, see, that's the thing. I haven't, I haven't really tested any of them. So I, mean, I know people <laughs> so me, that me, had. Me. So I know people that had. Um, I know people that had. Um, you know the fuel band, and I know people that had Fitbit. So kind of compare those experiences, you know, but I don't want to just buy it and have to return in, in of course, right? Do it like 30 you know, times. <laughs> here, here's, here's something I'm, I'm curious, Vince or, or, um, or Roderick, um, can you compete with other people with your stats on these job bones and, and fuel bands? Yeah. yeah, on the job bone you can. Fuel band, it's from what I remember, I had it for like a week and I didn't like it. You post it online, so it's more like an online community. Oh, okay. so this is like if me and you are competing, I can see exactly what you've done for the day, and then I can see what you know. You see yeah, what I've done. Okay, because okay. I'm thinking about getting something like this just because um, I'm competitive as all get out, and um, <laughs> and like uh, like if somebody I see is like like totally like smashing me, no matter what it is, like mm, I'll be like, yeah. hey, where do you live, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and then run to their house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, have, stats. I oh, have a, sprint, I, sprint. I, I have, like you know some people display their guns or whatever. I display my baseball bats. So um, <laughs> you know, I'll definitely take it to the legs. But no, uh, whatever I got to do to win. Um, so that's what I, my, I was kind of curious about. So yeah. you, you know, with these wearables and these peripherals, do you see this being the holiday season for them? Like where they really just kind of take off. Uh, or do you think it's going to be maybe another generation or two before that before they perfect what they have? I think what they have now is pretty good, but I, I I'm, I'm I'm be honest with you, I think it'll really get competitive when Apple drops theirs. Okay. No, so, I mean they're 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 out there. There are people that want it, but yeah, when Apple drops theirs, yeah, and then everybody yeah. along. Uh, that'll be the game changer. Probably. Do you see, yeah. Do you see people purchasing the or, or uh, have you? It's kind of like a Windows thing almost. But have you seen um, uh, people purchase the Galaxy Gear? No. No, I haven't. I mean, I have. I've, that's crazy because uh, I'm actually on the waiting list, so I've played with it, but it's like not there yet. But some people might like it. Yeah, we had the chance to do the review, uh, like a review, and myself and Kevin both had a chance to check out the review unit, and um, it was really, really interesting. Um, that I, I mean, I think that I think that the overall design, you know, the the want for it to be awesome is there. It's just the right. <laughs> every time when it told me to look at my phone, I'm like, well, then what do you do? <laughs> exactly. So we had it before the big update came out yeah, last yeah, week. Yeah, so yeah, I think yeah. with that big update, it's like now is when I wish we would have had it to do the review on it. So maybe we'll be able to get it back from uh, our yeah. Verizon or AT and T rep just so, to try it out again. Yeah. So do you think? Um, so do you think this Logitech controller for the iPhone and uh, iPod uh, fifth generation is going to be a pretty hot seller this uh, holiday season? I think we need to get the word out a bit more. 
Um, of course, we know it because of uh, you know our circles, but I'm not sure right. if the general public is aware of it. Of course, if they're reading our sites, yes. But, <laughs> um, I think there may be a little more of a push because uh, I think it's I think it's actually available pre-order. So I forget. I'm not sure when it's going to come and launch, but um, I think if if it was out there more, I, they would definitely move some units. So, gotcha. You know, like you said earlier, it's a, it's a it's a controller and a battery. You can't go wrong with that. Yeah, right. And you know, the reason why I asked that is because I'm, I'm setting up a couple of questions here. The NVIDIA Shield, have you got either of you guys heard of the NVIDIA Shield? Yeah. Uh, we hey, were man. at a GameStop Expo in Vegas and, and played with it, and I actually enjoyed it more than the, the Wii U. The Wii, uh, the Wii U console. The Wii U? Yeah. No, no, the, the, the Android uh, console, the Wii U. Oh, the, oh, yeah, the Wii U. Oh yeah, I actually, I actually yeah. enjoyed the shield more than that, and I thought the shield nice. was, I thought the shield was perfect because you yeah, know you, you you got straight Android, you got the games, um, the controllers are awesome, sound is great, and touchscreen, everything, everything was, everything worked as advertised. Now, do you do you see that being a, an actual contender going into the future, or because I feel like that it's a 3DS, a Nintendo 3DS type scenario, yeah, where you just yeah. drop a couple of bills and you know that it's gonna, you know, it can go through some 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 heck, if you will, with kids, but it's not one of those things that are gonna be around for for too long because, in my opinion, these mobile games like on the iPhone or on all these Android devices. Um, they're getting hot and they're getting really like well done. Like yeah, the official, beautiful. You know, yeah. I yep. mean, even though they burn through your battery like no <laughs> doubt. Um, you know, I still think that uh, man. I mean, that's where it's at. You know, you got your phone, you got your music, you got your entertainment, all your content, all that stuff. Do you just do you see that 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 being more of that that 3ds type of mentality? I think so. I think. I think. Um... The games need to be more intense. The you know we need to see more graphic like the experience. Uh, cons- needs yeah, to yeah. We need better gaming, uh, portable gaming graphics and, and the whole experience for it to take it to that level. To now, be a true competitor. Yeah, like um, uh, the the iPad has or the, when they do their usually they have those Infinity Blade or I can't remember what the exact name. Vince, yeah, maybe I, help I me think out that here. is it. Yeah, yeah that's it. it is. Yeah. Um, man, awesome graphics. You know, just mm-hmm. so so like they say, okay, here's the bar. Why don't you come up here with the rest of us? You know, right. exactly. Uh, you know, to compete, I think, you know, as a content device, I still think the the iPad is kind of killing it right now. Mm-hmm. It's your all in one. It's your all in one device. Whatever you, you need, productivity, you, everything. Yeah. How how do you feel about recommending the iPad two to somebody? I don't. I would never do that. The reason why I would never no. do that. The reason why, yeah, yeah. Maybe Vince and everybody else. Is, yeah, you're right along with me here because I see it. No, no, no. But um, no, no, no. Why do you think? And I, I'm curious from both of you. Why do you think that they kept that around? Do you think it's just to get rid of the inventory? Um, maybe a little of both. A little inventory. A little of um, try to. Well, no. Just inventory because it's not even a price. Because <laughs> it's not even a price. I was getting ready to say because if yeah. you can justify, you got a job at Apple because they have still, in my yeah. opinion, not been able to justify still selling that thing. Because you'd be better off buying a third generation refurb rather than buying yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. I, at the, it baffled me at the press conference. They'd be like, "Yeah, we still have the iPad 2 for." Like, you know, did you get the number wrong or like, what? what? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. What if it's for kids or? Elementary education, if it's cheap enough, but I don't know. Yeah, if it was, that, would, that would have to be it. Yeah, yeah it's it could have kept enough. it around if it was two hundred dollars. If it was two hundred dollars, they could have kept it and be like, okay, here's the iPad two, two hundred dollars. They don't have Retina, but the other, you know, go for it. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> big maybe, yeah, big <laughs> big maybe there. <laughs> Oh gosh, yeah. I mean, there's there's some games like Dead Trigger and Modern Combat, and of course Asphalt Eight, which we touched on in an mm-hmm. earlier show. Those games are just beautiful on on handsets and stuff, and it's just oh, yeah. it's amazing. But I think things like this Logitech PowerShell would make those games even more enjoyable because you have actually have physical buttons using the virtual controls. Right. Still, I don't think the experience is is there yet. Yeah, screen is big enough. Right. 
Yeah, I, <laughs> unless you got a Note Three or a Galaxy Mega. Yeah. But here's here's something that was kind of interesting, guys. I don't know. And well, we were just talking about this before the show started, uh, Vince, I, and and um, and Kevin, um, which was these gaming consoles that are coming out. Um, you had mentioned the P- PS3 and the Xbox 360 aren't going anywhere, but the future of these things. Do you see? Do you see investing in in these now? If you had a chance. As far as a gamer's perspective, what I've heard is that the way to go maybe is the PS4 for just a gaming experience, especially if you have the Vita, because you can play um, PS4 games through your Vita via Wi-Fi, um, which is pretty neat little scenario. But I see Microsoft being able to do that with their Surface products, with their Smart Glass. I see them being able to do that as well. So I think the long term the Xbox one is going to be the way to the way to go um, what are your thoughts on on, on my scenario I, I obviously you you're like any everyone else which is you're not gonna you know say hey go buy ps4 or go buy Xbox one but what, what do you think about what what I just said about the the, the, the dual screens and the kind of the future of that um, like you said that's the future and then um, and then also to add um, Microsoft, uh, I think smart smart glasses available for other uh, other than you know for devices as well, smartphones. Um, so they're definitely pushing the second screen thing, and then um, I definitely think that they would definitely be the future. Like you said, the only reason I'm a little hesitant on pulling the trigger now is the game selection on, on either side. Right. Like I like. Some of the games, but it's like you know, PS or PS3, you gotta drop 400, you know, and that's just a controller, one controller, no games. Mm-hmm. You gotta buy probably buy another controller, more and more games. Game still 60 bucks. For right. Xbox, 500 dollars, still no games, no second controller. I mean, it can get it's it's a little crazy. I mean, I've done it before. I bought the 360 when it first came out. I don't remember. I spent a lot of money on it, <laughs> and I don't think I'm doing that again this year. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe sometime in 2014 I'll pick up the next gen. But All right. Know. Okay. And you know, um, for the kids, you know, we're we're noticing that uh, some of these 360s are getting repurposed as like, you know, okay, mommy and daddy are gonna have the Xbox One. You can have the 360. You know, or uh, mommy and daddy, you're getting the you know PS4. You can have the PS3. Um, that that to me is an issue going to be going forward because I think that um, you know for the developers to continue to try and develop new applications for this, obviously kids are you know your best target audience. That's why marketers go after them for cereal boxes and things like that. Yeah. But um, you know, I mean that's that that's the way to go. And 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 I I have a concern that it's just going to be you know these throwaway devices, if you will. That are gonna, you know, uh, that's. I don't know. I, I see that kind of being an issue, but we won't get into that. Um, so, what are your thoughts uh, thoughts on um, the stores opening earlier no, earlier on Thanksgiving? You know, we got Kmart starting at 6 a.m. for example. <laughs> 6 a.m. What day? Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think I think it's a little much. To, I think that's a little taking the whole Black Friday thing a bit too much. Like, all right, employees kind of got to enjoy the day too. I think there, right. there's shifts, but I mean, this isn't. I mean, just be just be real. This isn't. You can find better deals after Black Friday, <laughs> but you know, the name brings everybody to the yard. <laughs> right. Exactly. It's, yeah. I, it's just it's just terrible. I think, and you know, that and other stores who they're starting at 8 p.m. and I I don't know just. I mean, maybe it's not even 6 a.m. Maybe it's 6 p.m. But just regardless, it sh- it should yeah. not be. They just shouldn't be doing that. You know, yeah. Thanksgiving is family day. Here's I mean, here's. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, you called me a goat head. No, I'm um, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Is, um, I think I think as we go forward, you know, I was at Black Friday last year, and I watched an old lady give an, a, an elbow check to this other maybe 16 year old right in the friggin' eye. Okay. <laughs> And and this was over this I swear I'm not BSing here this is at Walmart over towels over bath towels oh yeah I believe you I believe they were you. having like this sale of bath towels now don't mess with Graham on her bath towel yeah you now. can't do that no Black Friday brings out the worst of people yeah so <laughs> I put, so I push a guy and I steal his 
and I wash it, <laughs> and all the stuff, you know, so I wash it. Now this, I'm going somewhere with this, by the way, everybody. Um, so I wash this thing, and every piece of fabric, like, came off, and then I take it out of the dryer, and I can almost see through this towel. Oh, and I'm like, wow. so I could have been in prison for this towel. And we're back live. Okay, so to pick up where we left off, um, you know, we were talking about, um, you know, going to prison over a towel. Long story short is, um, you know, we were talking about how um, what, what I had stated was I think that everybody should focus a little bit more on the online stuff. Uh, uh, Roderick, you were talking about being able to purchase a um, TV for your dad. And uh, just being able to sit there in the comfort of your home and click, click done, you know, it's over with. And then I said, um, you know, about how people stand around and try to get games or DVDs. And, um, not, you know, and for people to understand that all that stuff's going to be digital soon and not to focus so hard on the actual physical aspects of those things. And then that's where you come in and say, I agree totally with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where we were, my bad. Um, no, I agree 100% because... Um, you know, you get to spend less time away from your family, and you don't even have to leave the house. You, just, you know, unless you got to drop family off or something, um, in the comfort of your own home, just like just like they just said. Yeah, and I think that's something that that people really need to focus on. Um, and then we were talking about uh, what sites uh, you, you go to, and that's where um, that's where we left off. Is what what site you use for your own personal uh, to figure out. Uh, the best deals that are out there, where people can find good deals. Well, uh, the site I've been using for a few years, hey Vince. Uh, hey Vince is back. Yep. All right. The site I've been using for a few years, a few years is called BF. Ads. And what Google? Okay. <laughs> uh, BFads.com or .net. I forget which one it is, but um, I've been using that for a few years. Uh, you know, they scan, they scan. You know, they have leaked uh, copies of the circular that they. Uh, scan to the site for some of the things and you can find everything tech related or non tech related. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's good. You know, that that's good to kind of the Walmart of the internet, so to speak. Um yeah. you know, kind of a, a, a way to look at stuff like that. Um I know Amazon's got some good deals. So um let's go ahead and transition on into what what the future looks like for you, Tech Guy Smart Buy. What do you guys what's your guys' plan going forward? Uh, our plan for moving forward, uh, try to find a way to make some money out of this stuff. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, that is part of it, but I think the more thing is probably be, uh, getting more creative with, uh, presenting information and, you know, rather than just blog post, blog post, blog post, review, blog post, smart buy, and this and that. Uh, sure. try to do some creative things. We're, you know, we're in, we're working on a couple things we're going to try to bring for 2014 and, you know, hopefully... You guys like it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I know well, we're gonna we're gonna try to out. yeah we're gonna be checking it out and keeping in contact with you yeah. and all that stuff. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and transition into uh, some of the uh, Black Friday deals that are gonna be coming out. Kevin, why don't you go ahead and start with yours? Yeah, some of the ones you know just from scanning the scanned ads, kind of like what Roderick said. Uh, you know, I've looked at uh, Target, I've looked at Best Buy, and you know, uh, I see Walmart has. There's posted. It's available to you know to check out. Uh, but some of the ones that I saw was the iPhone 5C at Best Buy. Uh, you'll be able to pick that up on contract for forty-eight dollars. So that's uh, just a, a hair over fifty percent off. Uh, the iPad Air is going to start at four hundred and fifty dollars at that's Best Buy bad. as well. That's not no, bad. that's that's pretty good. I mean, that's yeah. the new top end. So you're saving about fifty bucks on that as well. Now. Um, forgive me, but that that comes with the ability for now the 450 model, the 450 dollars is that the Wi-Fi only or does that? Yeah, that'll that'll be the wifi. 16 gig okay. Wi-Fi only okay. model. All right. Okay. Uh, the 32 gigabyte iPod Touch fifth generation for 250 dollars at Best Buy, and then also the G LG G2, which uh, I know we had the opportunity to try out for a while and. Uh, check out the buttons on the back. If the yes. button wasn't on the it's back. The, it would be the an biggest awesome drawback call. of that device. Good lord! I back. love that though. You do? <laughs> well, it's different. 
That's not what it's, I love. Oh, it's, it's definitely think. different. No, it's, it's, no it's, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I get that, and and I and I get what they're trying to do, but I can't. Right. I just I. I, yeah. I Right. When you're bouncing between phones like like we are, uh, constantly switching between a new phone it seems like weekly. It's it's like okay, I got to remember where my phones are or where my buttons are on my regular phone when I do get back to using them <laughs> on a regular basis. So it's it can be a little tricky. But anyway, the G2 is going to be available on you know all four major carriers for fifty dollars at Best Buy on a two year contract. And that is that, I mean, that is one of the most powerful phones on the market right now, especially for Android. That camera, and it's is just crazy. yeah, it's 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 a great device. So for fifty oh, bucks, oh that camera, yeah, that camera. Your contract. Uh, pardon my great. ignorance. What's the normal cost of that phone? That would normally be a two hundred dollar phone. Yeah. It's okay. pro- it's probably down some because it's been yeah. out for a few months. Okay. Um, yeah. No, I mean fifty bucks to your contract. That's that's pretty insane. Okay, so I'm going to roll through these fairly quick. Uh, Lumia 520 is only for $59.99. If you guys are looking to pick up a nice little media device and you're not looking to, to, to purchase the $250 iPod Touch... It is I a think great little device right here. I Lumia, bought one two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, it's for $59.99 with the expandable storage up to 64 gigs. Uh, you've got Xbox Music, uh, you know... Um, You've got podcast, the uh, Audible, offline GPS. I can't talk enough about how awesome the 520 is. This is a secondary device. And an STL Tech Talk app. And the STL Tech Talk app. <laughs> uh, Xbox, yeah, Xbox 360, 250 uh, gigabyte console for $199. Um, Xbox uh, 360, 4 gigabyte console. Uh, for only $179. Call of Duty Ghost uh, for $39.99. Uh, $49.99 for Xbox One. Grand Theft Auto 5 for $33.99. Uh, Battlefield 4 for $38.99. Um, you know, Assassin's Creed $33.99 for Xbox 360. Madden 25 for $34.99. Um, Surface RT, 32 gigabyte for $199. That's not too bad. No. Um, that's Does that include the touch cover, too? The keyboard no. and everything? No. no. Nope. Uh, Surface RT, 64 gigabyte, $379. That starts December 1st. Um, Kindle Fire, $99.99. Uh, Nexus 7, $229.99. That's basically $29-ish dollars off of what it uh, currently costs now. Um, and that is it for the list of things that I could find in less than five minutes. No, um, that's, uh, that's the list of discounts that we have for now. Um, obviously, we'll be uh, posting uh, further. Um, you know, we'll be posting those a little bit uh, further later. But um, having said that, uh, at the end of the show, what we usually do is we cover some um, uh, uh, feedback and or apps. This week, we're going to go ahead and do app picks of the week. Um, and it looks like Vince has already got one. So Vince, why don't you tell tell everybody about your app? Yeah, Fat Wallet is a good website and app as it is. I, I like to use that for deals, but they have their own Black Friday app now. Um, what I've noticed is you can create your own kind of shopping list, if you will. So instead of getting bombarded, if you go out at midnight or whatever, instead of getting bombarded with deals, stay focused, stay on task with what you're wanting to buy for you or your friends or your family, and and then it, it does like a geolocation. So if you are in Chesterfield Valley Black Friday, you can help within that area where the best deal is and what matches your list. And it's pretty, at least for iOS, and they, it is for on the Google, uh, Google Play is it store again? Part of my non yeah, Apple Google Play store. Okay. <laughs> it. Um, but it's okay, it, I forgive you. It's, it's available for both. <laughs> it's a, it's an okay interface, um, but I just like the fact you can create your own list. Yeah. No, that's so. that's that's hot. No, that's totally cool. Um, Kevin, um, you totally. I'm gonna change mine up though. I mean, okay, you, know, gonna... I, you know, first one, you know, I wanted to do another plug again, but. I've already mentioned it a couple times. I'm, uh, go ahead and use you know, if you're if you're a big Target shopper. There's an app for people called Cartwheel, and it's available on Android and iOS. So it, what what Cartwheel does is it allows you to check what you have in your cart to see if there's any available discounts that you didn't know about. 
And then, of course, you can always partner that up with the, you know, their their charge card, and get additional discounts as well. So I nice. uh, make sure to load that up whenever you're shopping, and if you haven't done that, you know, it's just another way to save a few extra bucks, and every every dollar counts in this day and age. Absolutely. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Hey, uh, tech guy, smart by Roderick. Uh, what uh, what's a, an app that you uh, that you use frequently that, that you would like to maybe that other people don't know about? Um, I'm a big Google Music guy. I love uh, you know it's pretty much like Spotify, but Google's version of it. And I don't know, it just works for me. I'm just heavily invested into uh, you know Google services. I mean, that's just my personal preference. But uh, a definitely great addition was ways to Windows Phone. I love that GPS app. If you guys yeah. haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. It's, you know, you get points for driving, you know, you get, uh, so it's all community based. You know, if you used it before Google bought it, you know why they bought it. Right. 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 Exactly. Um, yeah, you uh, totally stole mine, so um, <laughs> go ahead and Sorry. Do I no, thought no, 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 no. somebody was going to take it. No, 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 that's fine. No, that's perfect. Um, so, yeah, I would just suggest for people to check out Andy Long. He's our developer for the STL Tech Talk Windows Phone app. Um, if, you, if, if everybody would, uh, if they have a Windows Phone, check out his apps, and, uh, and, and if you like some of those, get those. Give them your feedback. Let them know. Um, uh, on our app as well as other apps that he has, um, he's a really good guy, and, and we uh, we really appreciate him doing this for us and, and all that kind of thing. So um, check out Andy Long, and you can check out Andy Long on his. Uh, you can just search him and, and find him that way. But that's a good way to good way to do it. Um, Roderick, we can't thank you enough for being on. We really appreciate it. Uh, um, thanks for having. Yeah, definitely, and uh, we'll have to have you again when you're uh, when you're not, you know, fending off vendors and things of that sort. <laughs> yeah, I got uh, kicked out. That's why I'm outside now. So yeah, yeah definitely, uh, got to do that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. We'll we'll have you on again for sure. And uh, if people want to find out more information about you, where can they do that at? TechGuysmartBuy.com. Awesome, awesome. I love it, and it is it's a good site, and I really like what like you guys got going on there. Um, Thank you, thank I, I like it. I like it a lot. And we really appreciate, you, again, you coming on and giving us uh, your information. Hopefully other people will reach out to you for their uh, their thoughts and their, uh, you know, uh, smart buys, if you will. If, uh, pun yeah, yeah, yeah. We always so, take uh, stuff, taking uh, comments and different things. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Very cool. Um, Vince, thank you again so much for being on the show. Uh, we look forward to having you on continually. Uh, and for your uh, for your stuff, your contributes to the site, we're really looking forward to all that. We love having your energy and your uh, information uh, in the space. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Um, where can uh, where can they find you at Vince? VinceMatani.com, or you can go to Twitter at VinceMatani and Instagram. I would, I do it all. So it's usually just pretty basic. Vince Matani. You see it spelled down there below. That's the best way to find me. Perfect, perfect. And again, I can't thank you guys enough for being on the STL podcast show. Even though we had a little uh, hiccup there, I still think that uh, it was it was very well done. Um, you guys, again, give us feedback. Uh, STL at stltechtalk.com. You can find Kevin um, at stltechtalk.com as well. Um, and Kevin, uh, they can find both of us, me and you, on the site. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being a part of the uh, STL Tech Talk community family, and uh, we look forward to hearing from all of you guys in the future. So thanks again to everybody. Have a safe and happy Thanksgiving, yep. um, and take care of yourselves, all right? Yep. Yeah, be careful on Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? One, right? one thing I do want to add here real quick before we end, uh, in the last couple of weeks we've been mentioned on a couple of pretty popular podcasts. Uh, I want to say thanks to Ryan and Travis Loudermilk at the Windows Developer yeah. Uh, podcast yeah, uh, that, that was pretty yeah. huge mention mm -hmm. and then also recently we were mentioned on the two guys show uh, through EdReach which is a, a big education network for technology with educators and stuff like that so I want to thank uh, Brad Wade and Drew oh, let me see let me double check I don't want to butcher this Drew Minock I uh, Want to you know say thanks to them. Uh, they had Heath Mitchell on, who was on a couple of weeks ago with Mitchellahan uh, Media. You know their uh, the AR flashcards. So I definitely want to thank those guys for uh, 
get you know give us a mention and a shout out. So. And yeah, yeah. Thanks it. so much. We we really do appreciate that, and we look forward to uh, further mentions and, and things of that nature, and having you guys on the show yourselves. So, uh, with that, if everybody's happy, good night, everybody. All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.